We're at Photo Booth Expo 2018 looking at some of the cool things at the show. That might be to the Atlanta Photo Booth. You've already seen some teasers, but a lot of you want to see the man himself, Steve Lynch. He's the guy who has created what you're going to see in this video. Because, Steve, can you take us around and show us all the cool things you've got in the booth this year? Sure. All right. Due to popular demand, everybody kept asking us if we could take our Venue Pro product and translate that into an iPad-friendly unit. So we went ahead and we took the Venue Pro and turned it into the Venue Pad. So basically, you have the same beautiful face and everything like that that you're used to on the Venue, but it will use an iPad. We're running Curator on this right now. There's a bunch of different programs you can use that are iPad based. We are just using Curator because we think it's a really great software right now. Um, this is set up to do single photos and boomerangs. You can do the boomerang GIFs, single photos, and you can send them directly to your phone from, from where you can use the little, uh, the little app which will allow you to put them on Instagram or on Snapchat or on any of the social sharing uh, platforms. We give you these neat little emblems here that you can stick on the front. You can either adhere them or you can magnet them to it. So you can either choose to use them or not use them. The unit is in three pieces. You have your little base and your top, which can go in a, in a padded case. And then you have the column, which would go in its own little padded case with a little shoulder strap. It's very lightweight. It's running completely on batteries right now. So you can run this thing for an entire event without ever plugging it in. That's great if you want to move it from location to location, say from cocktail hour to over near the dance floor or something like that. And this is one of the cool things about it. If you want to actually carry it around the event so you can get to where people are, you can actually just utilize the quick release mount here. And you can carry the you can carry the uh, unit around. You know, you can do short people, tall people. You can also, with our innovative little mount, you can rotate the entire thing so that you can use it in landscape mode if you want to. So if you're more concerned about wide photos with a lot of people and stuff, you can actually have the unit flipped over. Now, we've badged it for the show. You can tell us what you'd like on the little laser badge, or you can just have it be blank. So this thing will run an entire event on batteries only, or you can use the nice little holes we've got in the base and run at AC power so you can leave it running, say, at a trade show for three, four days if you wanted to. And once again, it just quick mounts right on top, and you're back in business. It tilts up, tilts down, We've used it at the Pets in the Park and stuff like that where you actually want it to be, you know, shooting almost a foot off the ground so you can get doggies and things like that. It works perfectly. Great for short kids and stuff. And because it has a nice ball mount, you can actually just tilt it very quickly. Yeah. Now, with this venue pad line, we decided to go ahead and make it modular so that there's a bunch of different things you can use with it. So, say you just wanted the head but you wanted a place to rest it when you're not using it, we have a great little stand that you can utilize in a tabletop configuration. So if you wanted to take the unit and place it on a tabletop, you can actually use this little short stand. That way you can roam around the party with it, take all your photos, and then you can put it in a stationary area. This is magnificent because you could practically put it on the back of a bicycle if you wanted to. You've got two hands, walk into the event, and you've got your whole photo solution right there. Now, if you really want to take it over the top, you can automate them. So, in comes the Rover. This is a remote controlled robotic unit which will run an entire day on the batteries. It has an 8,500 milliamp battery, which we have run for two days here at the Expo, and we've done some serious mileage. Yes, you have. <laughs> and people have just been blown away by how long it works. Once again, the light rings use the Sony lights, or the Sony batteries, so they will run an entire day. The Rover itself will run an entire day, so you can just drive this thing right to the people. The really fun thing about it is, is you can engage people where they are. Instead of waiting for people to come to the photo booth, you can actually go right to them. And there's nothing more gee whiz than a robot rolling up to you and coming and talking to you. So here you go, bring it right up. You can have fun with it, you can rotate it, you can make it jump at people, you can do stuff like that. It's really, really fun. And it walks right up to them. Now, people have asked about the height of it. Well, if you notice, I mean, John's not a short guy, and I'm not short either. Yeah. We're standing maybe three feet from it right now. I'm gonna go close enough where we can actually touch the screen. 
And we've got plenty of room to take pictures of people. Yeah. So you don't have to have a really tall unit. This allows it to be a lot more maneuverable. It does have zero turn capability, so it can turn completely in a circle. So you can maneuver in and out of tables, you can maneuver on and off the dance floor, you can go around wherever you'd like, and it'll go relatively quickly or relatively slowly. And it's very low to the ground, so you don't have to worry about running people's ankles over or anything like that. It does have wonderful motors that stop on a dime, so there's no possibility of this thing getting out of hand and going off on its own. It, sure. it stops the second you take your finger off the remote. The other cool thing is you can trigger this now, especially with Curator, which supports uh, Bluetooth, you can trigger this remotely. So if you just want to roll up to people and start a session and take a picture of them when they don't even expect it, you can get some really neat unexpected photos. So this thing just draws a crowd wherever it drives. People keep asking why, and I just say, why not? It's amazing. <laughs> For sure, it definitely was catching a lot of attention yesterday. Yes. Hey, there's this woman that's walking down down the aisle right now yep. taking her robot for a, for a walk yeah that's Teresa she's been out she tried to get down here from the room about half an hour ago and unfortunately there. she can't because everybody wants to stop and talk about it and that's not unfortunate that's actually a wonderful that's thing a good thing but here it is right here coming up to us spinning around and mugging for us that is the rover now, Steve, one thing I want to point out here, as we're looking at, at the rover here, I'm going to try to zoom in just a little bit here. You've got two different color LEDs in your, your ring here, and that's a little bit different. I haven't seen other rings at the show that are two that have two different colors. Tell me about that. Well, everybody's pretty much going with the off-the-shelf uh, daylight colored lights. Well, those are really not flattering, especially with an iPad. Uh, the, the, the iPad is having to compensate for that really bright color temperature. The cool thing is here, you can adjust them individually so that you can have daylight or warm or a nice combination of the two. This allows you to get right from the back of the unit to get your picture quality a little nicer. Say you're going from a very dark area to a bright area or whatever, you don't have to go into the software and, and stand there in front of people and readjust your color temperature and stuff in the software. You can actually do it from the ring itself. So that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yeah, definitely a great feature. We got a couple more things we have to hit and the crowd's about ready to swamp us here at the show. So let's, let's, let's hit some of the other. There's one more new thing back there that I haven't seen before. Sure. This is called the Kaboomerang, with an exclamation point after it. This is a curved faux array slider. So what will this allow me to do now in my photo booth world? Okay, this will allow you to stand here. You can either do something funny, you can throw some confetti, you can uh, do fake money, you can blow bubbles or whatever. And you hold a pose, and when you hold the pose, you'll slide the slider right across. Would you like to see what it... Sure, give us an idea of how that would work. Okay. The people can actually see themselves on here right now. They would go ahead and start it, count it down. So you'd go three, two, one. You'd do a nice controlled slide across. Now that's gonna animate and it's going to reverse when it gets to the end. So it almost looks like it's rotating around them. It's kind of like the bullet time effect from the matrix. Nice. Everybody's really digging that. That's a, that's a really big feature on all the new social media apps. All the kids are really into the boomerang gifts. So that is what this does. It basically allows you to set it up. It has a really strong base. It's not wobbly. And it's a relatively low price as well. So just a neat thing for that extra oomph when you're doing an event. And it looks like we can you can handle a variety of different size iPads with that bracket. Absolutely. You could go all the way down to a, to an iPhone if you wanted to. We have a magnetic mount. You could put an actual computer on the front, like, an, like a Surface Pro or something like that. And you could use a DSLR, or you could use a video camera. You can even mount the head from either our Rover or the Venue Pad right on here, so you have the ring light. So oh, you yeah. can actually mount the head and swing that back and forth. So once again, Again, trying to go with the modularity here where you can utilize all the parts together so you can do multiple things at one event. Very nice, very nice. Let's put a couple of words in now because we've got two very popular items that you've had in, in your inventory for a little while. Give us a little, the Venue Pro, tell us a little bit about that. Okay, the Venue Pro is kind of our flagship item. We've been using this guy for, for several years now, it's about six years old, and you'll notice that Everything kind of looks like that. We like to think that we kind of stylized it and it was so popular that everybody wanted theirs to kind of look like that. 
These have sold like hotcakes. Corporate clients, weddings, everybody likes it because of its very, very sleek and pretty mirrored face yes. and nice lights. The cool thing is when you touch it, it turns white. Now there's people talking here, but you go ahead and touch it, the lights turn white, which gives you nice modeling lights. You can see yourself nicely. Using darkroom software, which is what we prefer, you can do all kinds of nifty things. You can take photos, you can do boomerang GIFs, you can do videos, you can do regular animated GIFs, you can do green screen. We even have virtual props now where you can decorate your photo after the fact. You want to put a little stack of mustaches, you can choose the one you want, rotate it, scale it. It's amazing. I'm sorry, I'm having fun over here. <laughs> no problem. It really doesn't weigh much either. The cool thing is you can carry it in with two hands, once again, in two padded cases, which do come with it, and it sets up very quickly. You can leave the camera in it, you can leave the Surface Pro in it, and you basically just plug it in and go to town. It fits anywhere. You can use it as an enclosed or as a, uh, as a open, open style booth. Yeah. It's, uh, it's really a nifty unit. We've been very proud of it, and we've, we've tried to make some changes, and people have uh, had an outrage. They want it to stay the same, so we're keeping that one classic. And then we have one more, the Mirror Mirror. Let's take a look at that. The Mirror Mirror, a lot of people have been talking about this if going by. They really like that look. The Mirror Mirror has been incredibly popular. Mirror booths are wonderful because they're not easy to knock off in your driveway or whatever, so people are not competing with a million people with the same product. It's very unique, which is let people keep the price point high and keep the interest really high as well because people aren't worn out by it at weddings. You know, photo booths are still fun, 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 but by this point, most people have seen them. It's not really a new concept. This, even though it's a couple years old, is still something that blows people's minds when they see it. They yeah. think it's amazing. Now, <clears throat> basically, when you see yourself in the, uh, in the unit, that's what you're going to get on the photos. We forego the live view because the mirror itself is actually the live view. When you start a session, the mirror will prompt you. It will take you through your animations and stuff. This says it's going to take four photos right now. I think I have it set for one because we just did some modifications to, to show a pretty neat feature. You'll see you can use regular MPEG-4 videos and you can get video animations made from any number of people right now that are designing uh, custom videos for them. We put the, the new light in there, which is fidget controlled, and we'll run and pop on and show you where to look when you're doing your sessions, which is really nice. People were requesting that. And if you look right here, I don't know if you can see it very well, we're using a new feature of Darkroom called Darkroom Looks. So this allows you to put filters on the photos. Now, a lot of people have asked about stuff like the Kardashian effect, as they call it, which is the... Uh, the the one that clears up your face and you know takes away blemishes and makes you look more whatever. Yep. Well, if you notice, you look beautiful. I have my trademark stupid look in that photo. <laughs> but this is this is wonderful because it gives you a really really clean look. Everybody's been asking about that. And previously, it's only been available in booths that cost as much as my first house. So, this is a wonderful addition to Darkroom, which you'll see very very shortly if you're a Darkroom 3.0 user, it's going to be in the software. Now right here, you can actually doodle on your photo if you wanted to. A lot of people ask if you can sign it. We go one step f further. You can actually sign it or you can doodle on it. So if we want to go here and put a nice little heart around our favorite guy and get rid of that guy, we can go ahead and do it. And now it's going to print out our photo with the doodles on it. You can also notate it. You can put speech bubbles and put little words and stuff. So it really allows you to use a lot of proppy type devices without having to bring a ton of props. Sure. Prop management's huge. Oh, for sure. The cool thing about this is it breaks down into a very, very compact form factor. Using our nifty magnetic mounts, the frame comes right off. It comes in a nice padded portfolio bag so you can carry it around. We use a standard frame so that if you break your frame or you want to change frames or you want to get creative and create your own, you have the dimensions, you can do it on your own. We don't make you buy it from us. There's no funky connectors or anything like that. It's a really simple mechanism you can get at any Home Depot. The integrated lights are remote controlled, so you can change them, you can set them to one color, you can turn them off, or you can go ahead and have them pulse through all the ones like we are. Our table right here, we're offering something that nobody else with mirror booths is doing. We're offering the ability to put 
table legs on the cover. So instead of having to get rid of this giant cover at the event, you can actually fold the legs down and go ahead and use it. Now right here, we don't have it covered so that you can see that it's actually the cover of the booth. But if you use a nice 96 inch round or you use a, a nice spandex cover, it looks beautiful. You can use it for props, for a signing table, you can put your printer on it, and it gives you a nice little work area without having to bring extra equipment. The cover does go over it, which protects the screen, so it can take a hit and everything. It is made of a wonderful ABS plastic, which, which you know, in contrast to most road cases, is the same color all the way through. In addition to being ex extremely durable and resistant to bumps and scratches and stuff, you can clean it with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and keep this thing looking crispy forever. Wow, that's very, very nice. Now the back of it, I can show you really, really quickly. Yeah, let's pop around the back there. The back we've made so you can very easily get into the unit, work on whatever you need to. We've added a new panel down the bottom so you have power for both your printer and maybe something else, a phone charger, a hotspot, whatever. Um, you have your USB pass-through, so no holes, you're not feeding cables, you just plug all your stuff in right there. The back wings right here, you take this central bar off, you unscrew it, it magnets on top to the place where the, uh, where the, the frame attaches. These two wings fold in and are retained by the little screw down there. Okay. And it's a regular rectangle at that point. The form factor is the really big selling point for this unit. You know, mirrors are mirrors. They're basically using the same technology. At this point, we've just made it easier to move it around. It'll fit through a standard door, including residential, without having to turn it sideways and flip it around and tilt it on its side and everything. You just grab the handles and you push it around like a shopping cart. So it's very, very easy to move. And that's the thing most people like. It'll fit between the home in most SUVs so you don't have to put it on its side or have a separate trailer you can fit it in a minivan or in a you know mid-sized SUV and it's manageable for people it's about 110 pounds so it's on the heavier scale for booths but it's a lot lighter than some of the other stuff out there and with the wheels and handles, of course, it makes it easy to maneuver around even for a smaller person than you and I. Yeah, of course. I mean, my wife and I have had to actually carry it up a flight of stairs before. It's not pleasant, but you can make it happen. Great stuff at this year's show, Steve. Where can a person go to find out more information and, and check out all the new products and such? You can go to atlantaphotobooth.com. We'll have stuff on there. And as well, you can check all the Facebook forums and stuff. We're going to be flooding it with videos and, and uh, photos and things because people have just been blowing us up, asking us to show more, show more, show more. So that's where you can find us, atlantaphotobooth.com or the normal social media outlets. You'll see us on. That sounds great, Steve. We are at Photobooth Expo 2018.